and stacks and all that great stuff. Isn't that sweet? We got ourselves a live stream here, live at the Palms, Monday night poker. Need to get Hank Williams to have like a specific open for this that's n that does not violate any copyright laws. Or is he still going? Or So we have the juice box open here with King Jack of Diamonds. Aaron McKinnis here in the cutoff with the $15 call J1 here with his hand. This is the J1, the 4 3 of hearts, and he's going to flop the straight draw, the top pair with a king kicker for juice box. And Anderson does hit bottom pair with backdoor clubs, but. Can't expect he wants it to be too involved with this at this point. We are going to rattle off on it, and then J1 hits his hand six high straight on top of the world right now. His hand, his board, his world, folks. If you were the bet at 35, Juice Box also does turn diamonds at this point, and... You can see sometimes player opts for the raise, trying to get just a little bit more money into the pot. And that's going to be very bad news for him. So Jay Wynn cannot name his price. If Jay Wynn could think that potentially maybe there's a set involved. Maybe some junky kind of two pair would get mixed up in something like this. So now it gets to go up a little bit higher. And we'll see now if this is something that's drawing juice box ways. 275 back more to him after he check raised to 75. Now you're playing the hand out of position. I mean, he is... Most assuredly going to feel like I'm probably not dead in this hand, but. Interesting to see what will happen here on the river as it's going to come out of Jack. That could be the max payoff. Here. For J1, $760 pot. With a six high straight. Juice box by our numbers with 1.5k. And will J win somehow find a way to get it all? Could go super polarized. Potentially just go for like an overbet. Um, and that's what it's going to do. Looks like slightly over pot size bet. A quick call. And a winner with his hand and a tough river for juice box that there's a number of different cards that could have come that maybe would have allowed him to get away. But I think when you flop top two on this particular board that once you've gone one straight with it, then, well, then you got to pay off the next. And that is the unfortunate part of the game. A bit of a cooler, but very well done. By J1. All right, Conrad here with a couple of ladies. Pocket Queens, as they may also know. Yas Queens. The Freddie Mercury's. The, uh, the, the, the Mets. There's got to be other terminologies out there, but. Yeah, we got a 2-5 uh, PLO stream coming up on Wednesday night. Tune on in. Oh, my gosh. Rick has got Kings. 
Conrad's not going to get out of control with this. Just going to make the call here after now. It comes 834. Godspeed, Conrad. It's going to be tough to not basically lose a thousand on this one. And this is a part where I think Texas poker is the most frustrating probably for some players that come on in. It's just you can find yourself against so many more crazier players that you don't necessarily know who to loop in as far as, oh, there's no way that a guy's got to have this up. Up, there's King. So a tough one here for Conrad is going to have to hit a queen and a queen alone on the last two cards to come as – Nothing else on the sport is going to be able to help him. Five ball is down to a queen. He's going to be an eight. So a winner here for the Rick on the first run out. Oh, he hits a second one. We're going to have a chop pot. Still have the chance to potentially hit the king for the one upper, but wow. Running it twice working out here for Conrad is... Is just going to be able to chop it up. Let's continue. Here live at the Palms. Mike Gimblet, the dude talking. You can follow us on Instagram at Palm Social 512 Check us out at palmsocialclub.com. We are streaming Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And that is going to be our mostly consistent schedule. We are going to have... The occasional Friday night stream or Tuesday night stream, but for the majority, is going to be along the uh, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday route. All right, Caitlin here now with the raise up the old six nine suited. Is now going to draw a three bet out of the small blind here by Aaron McKenna's guy. Like, you know, I. Aaron continues to impress every time he goes on here in his playing career. Very much making all the right moves. Is sensing there doesn't have to be a very strong collection of hands around him. All right, it is going to come out to uh, actually does, we do get Caitlin making the call with the six nine of clubs. Top here for Aaron. It is going to come out a nine high flush draw for Caitlin. Bet of 100. Caitlin now going to raise up here to 300. So what does this look like probably from Aaron's perspective? Imagine that Caitlin could call with some ace-x candidates here that would o open and then call. There could be some king-x of clubs, king-queen, king-10. Maybe, you know, queen-jack of clubs could potentially be a hand that Caitlin could opt to, to make this move on. So, Queen of Diamonds on turn pot at 925. Can Caitlin fire one more? A believable bet size, but I don't know if Aaron's going to be totally dissuaded just yet. But there are some semi bluffs that he figured that if Caitlin were to do so with a card that definitely helps her more than it helps him. An ambitious line being taken by yet yeah, your queen. Caitlin here, the bet of 400. And it's 
really applies max pressure here to Aaron because it's just essentially all he's ever sitting there saying is like it's either a club draw or I'm pretty much crushed. King Queen still he could be beating. But as Instinct saying No, not yet. It's gonna come out of four, so I think this would probably make him feel more inclined to try to call a bet here because they're just... Unless Caitlyn's got ace... King, ace, queen, ace, jack. This is 100% a chop, but this is a very strong bet on the end. 1,000. Here now for Caitlyn trying to get it through. It's essentially a bet that's going to put Aaron all in. Going for it here on the river is Caitlin and still not put into the tank and for good reason. And Aaron's gonna make the call. A amazing attempt by Caitlin. To try to get him off the hand. And Aaron just smelled like something was off here. He is now going to be up to 3,400. 